Good afternoon and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, we're going to see Game 3 of a three-game set between the Cardinals and Cubs in Wrigley Field. The Cardinals have taken the first two games of this series, the Cubs trying to walk away from this and avoid the sweep. And let's get started with today's game. The Cardinals will send out a lineup of Colton Wong leading off, playing second, followed by Matt Carpenter, Paul Goldschmidt, Dexter Fowler out in the right, Paul DeYoung, who was injured in yesterday's game, he is showing a knee contusion and day-to-day -day for two weeks. He was injured running the bases in yesterday's game. Excuse me. Harrison Bader will follow in the sixth spot, playing center field. The versatile Tommy Edmond is going to start in left field today. And the catcher, Yadier Molina, will bat eighth. The Cardinals will send pitcher Jack Flaherty to the mound. He is starting his third game of the season, fourth game of the season, excuse me. He's made three starts, is a 1-1 one one record with a 5.06 ERA. The Cubs, in opposition, will send out a lineup of Jason Hayward leading off again in right field, followed by David Fletcher batting second and playing second. Anthony Rizzo at first, Javier Baez at short, Chris Bryant at third, Kyle Schwarber, who's struggling a bit, batting 157 with one home run, will bat sixth in left field. Wilson Contreras will catch and bat seventh. Albert Almora will bat eighth, and the Cubs will send starting pitcher Yu Darvish out for his fourth start of the season. He is 0-2 with a 560 ERA. Let's play some ball. Tonight at Wrigley Field, we have a partly cloudy night with 52 degrees and the wind blowing out to right field at 13 MPH. Yesterday, the wind was blowing in and it knocked down several potential home runs. We'll see if the wind works a little more in the Cubs' favor today. Hugh Darvish standing on the mound to face off against fellow Asian Colton Wong to lead off the game. Darvish with the first pitch. Looks in, gets the sign, nods off Contreras, looks in again, gets a pitch that he likes this time. Here he comes to the plate. And it is popped up on the infield. Bryant is there to put it away for the first out of the game. That was a changeup by Darvish. One out now and nobody on. Carpenter now the batter for the Cardinals. One and two count. And there is strike three looking. Darvish crossed him up with a sinker. Excellent work there to get the strikeout. Brings up Goldschmidt with two outs and nobody on. One and two count. Darvish comes to the plate. Pops up Goldschmidt to center field. The ball carries well, but Almora makes the catch on the warning track to record the third out. Cardinals go down in order in the top of the first and go now to the bottom of the first with the Cubs coming to bat. 0-2 count to the Cub leadoff hitter Hayward. Flaherty with the pitch and there's a ground ball to first. Goldschmidt is gonna field that and take it to first himself. Retire Hayward for the first out. Fletcher now will bat with one out and nobody on. Here's the pitch. Fletcher tries to lay down the bunt. The pitcher Flaherty covers, throws to first, and Fletcher is retired for the second out. Rizzo will now bat against the righty Flaherty with two outs and nobody on. Rizzo hits it up the middle, but a diving De Jong makes the grab, and the Cubs go down one, two, three in the bottom of the first. Fowler will now bat to lead off the Cardinals.
cardinal half of the second inning. 2-2 pitch. And he pops it up on the right side. Rizzo is chasing down the line. Flaherty calls him off. He had a better angle at it. And he squeezes it for the first out. De Jong will now bat. We'll see if the lingering effects of the injury cause him to have a poor at bat here. We've got a 2-2 count with Darvish looking in and bringing the pitch. Swing and a miss on a slider low and away. Darvish looks sharp so far. Two down now for the Cardinals and Bader is the batter. Darvish with the pitch. And there's a fly ball to left field. Schwarber is tracking. He will shade over toward left center and make the grab for the third out. Cardinals go down in order in the top of the second. Cubs now coming up in the bottom of the second in a 0-0 game. 0-2 count to Baez. Baez hits it on the ground to third. Ball is thrown over to first, and Baez is retired for the first out. Bryant will now bat. 0-2 count to Bryant. And he hits it on the ground to third. Third baseman Carpenter still hasn't forgotten where first base is. Throws it across the diamond to retire Bryant. Schwarber will now bat. One and one count to Schwarber. And he pops it up to right field. It's going to carry a little further, carry out to medium depth in right field, I guess. But Fowler makes the catch and retires Schwarber for the third out. Going now to the top of the third inning, Darvish will face the 7-8-9 batters in the Cardinal order. First pitch to Tommy Edmund. And that's a ground ball to third. Bryant scoops it up, throws to first, and Edmund is retired for the first out. Molina will now bat with a 3-0 count. And he watches ball four go by. Darvish walks in four straight pitches. And that'll bring up the pitcher Flaherty with Molina on first and one out. One and two count. Swing and a miss. And Darvish fooled him with a changeup. Wong will now be the batter with Molina, the runner, still on first and two down. One and one count. And a snap throw to first. Molina, not exactly known as a base running threat, retreats to first safely. Two and one count now to Wong. Darvish with the pitch. Ground ball to Baez at short. Throws to second. Fletcher has to reach for it, but he does make the grab and retires the side. Cardinals get a base runner, but no hits. And we go now to the Cubs half of the third in a 0-0 game. 2-2 count, Contreras the batter. And he ropes one into left field. Edmund chases and he grabs it for the first out. Almora will now bat after the Contreras line drive out to left. 0-2 count to Almora, Flaherty with the pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball that was low and away. And he got Almora to wave at strike three. First strike out for Flaherty. Darvish now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Full count to Darvish. And that is poked behind second base. The shortstop is not able to get to it. It gets down for a base hit. It looked like Carpenter, or DeYoung, excuse me, was going to make that play, but it got just out of his reach over his head behind second base into center field. Darvish now standing on first with the first base hit of the game. Hayward the batter with two outs in the bottom of the third inning. One and O count with the pitch. Ground ball against the shift, but Hayward is still thrown out at first. The third baseman, Carpenter, was playing kind of in the shortstop position, but he was able to range to his right and make that play and throw out the runner Hayward at first base. Going out to the Cardinals half of the fourth in a 0-0 game. Darvish will face Carpenter to lead off the fourth inning. Ground ball to Fletcher at second. He throws to first. And Carpenter is retired for the first out. Goldschmidt will now bat against Darvish with an 0-2 count and one out. And Goldschmidt pops it up behind second base. Fletcher is going back, and he makes the grab for the second out. Dexter Fowler will now bat with two outs and nobody on. 
one and one count. Dexter Fowler knocks it into center field. That's going to be a base hit. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Fowler rounds first, heading for second. He slides into second safely with a double. First base hit of the game for the Cardinals with two outs in the top of the fourth inning. DeYoung will now bat with Fowler on second and two outs. One and two count. And DeYoung strikes out looking on a sinker that was on the corner of the plate. Good pitch there by Darvish to record the looking strikeout. And the Cardinals are retired with one hit, but no runs scored. The runner is stranded, going to the Cubs half of the fourth in a 0-0 game. Flaherty with the 1-1 count will pitch to Fletcher, and Fletcher is going to knock it right up the middle in the center field. That ball goes all the way to the wall. Fletcher sliding into second. He has an extra base hit. He has a double to lead off the Cubs half of the fourth inning. Fletcher standing on second, Rizzo the batter, the Cubs looking to break the 0-0 tie with a full count, and Rizzo watches ball four go by right underneath of his elbows. Really no temptation to throw at that pitch, or swing at that pitch, I feel like. Fletcher standing on second, Rizzo on first, Baez the batter, with nobody out in the Cubs half of the fourth. One and two count. Ground ball to short. Over to second, over to first, and that is a ground ball double play off the bat of Baez. Fletcher does advance to third, and Bryant will now bat with two outs and the runner standing on third base. 0-2 oh, count to Bryant. Another weak ground ball to short. But Bryant is going to leg it out and get the infield single. For whatever reason, the shortstop DeYoung did not even attempt to throw that to first base. Apparently, he respected Bryant's speed going down the baseline. And the Cubs break the 0-0 tie as Fletcher scores on the Bryant infield single. Schwarber will now bat. With two outs and Bryant standing on first. 2-2 two -two count. Schwarber watches strike three go by. A changeup. Cubs do get a run, and they now lead the game 1-0. In the top of the fifth inning, Darvish, coming on for his fifth inning of work, will face the Cardinals center fielder, Baker. One and two count with the pitch. Strike three swing. Excellent pitch there by Darvish to retire Baker for the first out in the top of the fifth. Edmund will now bat with one out and a no-one one count. He lays down a bunt. He's trying to get a bunt single. Brian, or Rizzo has to run a long way to field that ball. He fires to Fletcher, who is covering first to make the second out. The throw is there just in time. Molina will now bat against Darvish with two out and nobody on. 0-2 count. And Molina swings and misses. The Cardinals are retired in order in the top of the fifth inning. Going out of the bottom of the fifth, Contreras the batter for the Cubs against the Cardinals starter, Flaherty. One and two count to Contreras. And he pops it up on the infield. Not very high. The shortstop, DeYoung, gets under it and puts it away for the first out of the inning. Almora will now bat for the Cubs with one out and nobody on. One and two count to Almora. And there is strike three swinging Probably swung at one that was down in that time. Flaherty crossed him up on the changeup. The pitcher Darvish will now bat with two outs and nobody on. Bottom of the fifth inning. 1-0 count to Darvish. Darvish hits it in the air to left field. That is going to be a base hit. Darvish has a single. And the Cubs have a runner on first with two down. Hayward now will bat. 2-2 count to Hayward. And Hayward swings and misses on a changeup that had him way out in front. Hayward strikes out for the third out. Cubs now go to the top of the sixth inning with a 1-0 lead. Darvish will fit will pitch to the opponent uh, opposing pitcher Flaherty. For my next trick, I will talk about seeing seashells on the seashore. Darvish 
with a one and one count, pitches to Flaherty. Ground ball to third. Bryant throws to first. Flaherty is retired for the first out. Wong will now pitch with a 1-0 count. And he hits it into right field. That is going to be one hop to the wall in right field. Hayward plays it off the wall, gets it back into the infield, but not nearly in time as Wong slides into second with a double. One out now in the top of the sixth inning. Wong represents the tying run. Carpenter the batter. 2-2 two -two count to Carpenter. And he strikes out looking. He was not looking for the change of speed in that particular case. And Darvish getting his seventh strikeout of the game. Goldschmidt will now bat with two outs, runner on second. Cubs trying to escape the top of the sixth inning. That's going to be a lazy fly ball to right field. Hayward does have to cover a lot of ground, but he puts it away on the warning track to end the Cardinal half of the sixth inning. Go now to the bottom of the sixth, and the Cubs still lead 1-0. David Fletcher will be the leadoff batter with a 2-2 count in the bottom of the sixth inning. Strike three. Strike three swinging. Fletcher is put away for the first out. Rizzo will now bat for the Cubs with a full count. And Rizzo is plunked in the side. He takes his base, and he has just been a target for pitchers so far this year. Baez will now bat with the runner on first and one out. One and two count. Baez swings and misses on a pitch that's way inside. Six strikeouts for Flaherty in the game. Bryant will now come up with his buddy Rizzo over at first, and two outs in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch to Bryant, and that is hard hit. It gets by the shortstop into left field. Bryant has the base hit. Rizzo is only able to advance to second as the left fielder Edmonds throw goes directly to third. And that'll bring up Schwarber with two on and two out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Cubs attempting to extend a 1-0 lead. First pitch, and that ball gets away. Rolls all the way to the backstop. The runners both advance. So the Cubs now have two runners in scoring position. Rizzo standing on third, Bryant on second, Schwarber batting with the 1-0 count. Full count now, and Schwarber draws the walk. Flaherty thought that was strike three. He is not happy about that. And now, the Cardinals manager comes out to argue, but ultimately he gives way and brings in the relief pitcher. The line for Flaherty in this game is gonna be five and two thirds, five hits, one run earned, two walks, six strikeouts. He is responsible for all three runners standing on base at the moment. The Cardinal relief pitcher is going to be John Gant. He has pitched five and two-thirds so far this year with four walks and five strikeouts and a 476 ERA. Wilson Contreras will be the batter. The Cubs are full of bases, or the bases are full of Cubs, you know, whichever one works and two outs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Two and one count to Contreras with the pitch. Contreras hits it on the ground, but Goldschmidt is right there. Gant covers first to retire Contreras and end the inning. The Cubs do not score despite loading the bases. And now we go to the top of the seventh inning. Darvish will be the Cubs pitcher facing the Cardinals' number four hitter, Dexter Fowler. One and two count to Fowler. And Fowler swings and misses on the splitter. Good pitch there by Darvish. He records his eighth strikeout of the game. DeYoung will now bat with one out, nobody on. One, one count. And that's gonna be a base hit to left field. That ball is gonna get to the wall on one hop. Schwarber fields, fires back into the cutoff man. But ultimately, it is a stand-up double for DeYoung. 
and that will bring up the Cardinals number six spot, but a pinch hitter will come up, Jay Bruce. He will stand in from the left side against the righty, Darvish. Darvish has thrown 75 pitches so far in this game. Situation now is one out, tying run standing on second, top of the seventh inning. One and two count, two Bruce. Darvish comes to the plate, and he strikes him out looking with an excellent cutter. Two down now. Darvish needs to retire Edmund to escape the inning. One and two count with the pitch. Popped up to center field. That should get the job done. Almora moves over to his right and puts that ball away. The Cardinals do not score despite getting a double in the top of the seventh. We go now to the bottom of the seventh inning with a 1-0 Cub lead. And our guest conductor for today's game is going to be the one and only... William Shatner. Ron Gant, the father of John Gant, is in this game watching his son pitch today. Gant will face Almora to lead off the bottom of the seventh inning. 1-1 one, one count with the pitch. A soft liner right at short. De Jong gathers it in, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Darvish will be allowed to bat for himself here in the bottom of the seventh with one out and nobody on. One one count to Darvish. He hits it on the ground to short. This time requires a throw to first to retire the batter, which De Jong executes successfully. Cubs now have two down and nobody on base. Hayward is now the batter. Two two count to Hayward with the pitch. Ground ball to second. The throw to first and Goldschmidt steps on the bag, and Hayward is retired. We go now to the Cardinals' half of the eighth. The Cubs still protecting a 1-0 lead. Darvish, with 85 pitches, has looked sharp today, coming out for his eighth inning of work. One and two count with the pitch. Ground ball to third. Bryant scoops it up, throws to first, and there is one out in the top of the eighth inning. O'Neill now the batter. The shift is on with Fletcher playing directly behind second base. And Darvish with the pitch. That will be a line drive that'll get past the diving Baez despite the shift being on. O'Neill still manages to punch it through the left side of the infield on a hard hit line drive in the left field. That will bring up Colton Wong with a runner on first and one out in the top of the eighth inning. 0-2 count to Wong. Swing and a miss, and Darvish has 10 strikeouts on the day. With 94 pitches, Darvish will now face the lefty Carpenter, attempting to retire the Cardinals in the top of the eighth inning. One and two count to Carpenter. Ground ball to second, Fletcher has it, throws to first. And the Cubs retire the Cardinals in the top of the eighth inning. We go now to the bottom of the eighth. The Cubs still up one to nothing. The Cardinals will bring in relief pitcher Brebia. He lowered his ERA by two full runs yesterday with a scoreless inning of work. He will face the Cubs' second baseman, Fletcher, to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. One and two count to Fletcher. Brevia with the pitch. And a swing and a miss on an inside fastball. And Fletcher is not able to catch up to that one. Rizzo will now bat with one out and nobody on. 0-1 pitch. Rizzo hits it in the air to center field. Harrison Bader is tracking, and he gets it for the second out. Baez will now bat. Cubs half of the eighth inning. Two outs. Nobody on. Brebbia with the pitch. And that'll be a base hit into right field. Baez hits it against the shift, and he gets a single with two outs. Bryant now will bat with runner on first, 
and two outs. Three and one count to Bryant, and he watches ball four go by inside. Bryant draws the walk, which will bring up Ian Happ, who I believe was a defensive replacement a few innings ago. Ian Happ getting his first base hit of the or his first at bat of the day. He will bat with two outs and two men on, and a 2-2 count in the bottom of the eighth inning. And Happ will strike out swinging to end the inning. We go down to the top of the ninth inning, the Cubs protecting a 1-0 lead. And David Ross will bring in his closer, Craig Kimbrell, to try to put this one away in the top of the ninth inning. Darvish, with an excellent line, Eight innings, four hits, no runs, one walk, and ten strikeouts in today's game. Kimbrell will pitch to the three, four, five batters in the Cardinal lineup. He will face Goldschmidt to lead off. 0-2 count. Kimbrell looks in, gets the sign. Here is the pitch. A strikeout on a pitch, low and away. He got Goldschmidt to chase one outside the zone for strike three. Dexter Fowler will now be the batter. With one out and a 1-1 count, Fowler flies it out to center field. Almora adjusts and makes the catch for out number two. Kimbrell will now face DeYoung with two outs and nobody on base in the top of the ninth inning. One and two count. Kimbrell with the pitch. Strike out looking. And Kimbrell nails down the save. The Cubs get the win. one nothing over the Cardinals to avoid the sweep. The Cubs now go to 7-9, dropping the Cardinals record to 8-8. Eight and eight. The player of the game is Yu Darvish for the Cubs, earning his first win of the season. He goes to 1-2. Kimbrell earns his fourth save of the season. He is still not allowed an earned run. And the Cardinal pitcher Flaherty gets the loss. He drops to one and two. He went five and two thirds with five hits. One run earned, two walks and six strikeouts. Well, thank you for listening to today's game. That'll be it for Replacement Player Baseball.